A really important concept that we cover in our algebra classes is something called factoring. And so in this video, I just wanna give just a brief overview of what it means to factor a polynomial. And we'll get into a lot more of the details in some of the later videos. But anyway, here's a, a real brief introduction and uh, we'll start with the definition. We say that a polynomial has been factored if it is written as a product of two polynomials that have a smaller degree than, than the original guy. So let, let me show you a couple examples. Uh, let's say we had one polynomial like x to the fifth plus 9x to the fourth. So that's a, a polynomial, of course, degree five. And I could write it as a product instead of like this, where currently it's a sum, but I could write it as a product if I expressed it as x to the fourth times the quantity x plus nine. And I know this is correct because this is currently a product and if I just happen to feel like multiplying this x to the fourth or distributing it through the binomial x plus nine, you would get x to the fifth plus nine x to the fourth. So these are in fact equal and I just turned this polynomial into a product. Let me show you another one though, completely different. x squared minus six x plus eight. That's a polynomial, you have addition and subtraction. If you wanted to write it as a product, you might could write it as x minus two times x minus four. All right, now if you look back at the first example, you can probably guess what I did for this one. Uh, here, we checked our answer by distributing the x to the fourth through x plus nine. But if you start with the left-hand side, noticing that they have something in common, you could pull that x to the fourth out and almost use like, like the distributive property, but backwards. And so when we pull it out, we create a product rather than get rid of a product. But notice how different the second example is x squared, 6x, and 8, they don't have anything in common among all three. So some, something must be different. The technique used here between this factoring and this factoring must have been different. And that's in fact the case. Uh, in fact, it turns out there are a ton of different ways that you can factor polynomials. And the method that you use usually depends on some characteristics of the polynomial. And we're gonna get into all these details in a number of videos after this one. But here, here let me just give you a quick rundown of a list of some different techniques that, that you're gonna see coming up shortly. Uh, the first one is you can use something called a GCF, or greatest common factor. Another technique is something called factor by grouping. Another technique is called trial and error. And another uh, technique that we're gonna look at is called special factoring forms, which lets you factor it just because your polynomial looks a certain way. And so all these are used in different scenarios. Um, without going into a lot of detail, and this probably won't make a lot of sense right now, but if you come back and watch this video later, it will. This first one was factored using GCFs. It was factored using that technique. But the second example was totally different. It wasn't GCFs. This one was uh, trial and error. And so, you know, the way that you factor these guys depends a lot on what these guys look like and what their properties are. So again, it would take us forever to go through all of those in this example or this video. Um, so stick with us. We're going to have a lot of videos and a lot of examples where we break down each of these different techniques. So uh, stay with us and we'll have those coming up shortly.